So what can we say about observers like us? One thing we can say about observers like us is that we're computationally bounded. Our minds are finite. So if there's all sorts of irreducible computation going on in the universe, most of that we're going to be blind to it. We can't trace all of that stuff. We can only, uh, we can only kind of capture uh, some small part of that irreducible computation. We're computationally bounded. It's the first statement about us. Another thing that's important about us is that we believe we are persistent in time, which is in a sense a very weird thing to believe because in these models, we're made of different atoms of space at every successive moment of time. Yet it is our internal perception that we are persistent, that we have a single thread of experience through time. So it turns out that the sort of big surprise is that from those two conditions, that we are computationally bounded and that we believe we're persistent in time, those two conditions alone are sufficient to allow us to derive general relativity and quantum mechanics and actually also the second law of thermodynamics from this idea of the Rouliad.